I just read an article, a recent news about the jam girl who finally confessed. She finally confessed to manipulating her jam results. Apparently, she said she went to Saba Cafe herself to manipulate her results. She got scores that majority of students that sat for jam can't get. 246. That is a very high score. Many people are getting 180, 200, but you got 246. And yet, yet you decided to amplify it to 262. Close to 362. And this girl almost caused a travel war. People were already taking it to be like, okay, now because it again, Naibu now, Naibu now. People forgot that the person that scores the highest in this 2023 uh, uh, jam is an Anabra student, also an Igbo uh, person as well. But this girl said she scored 362. She got 3 million Naira scholarship from Inoso Motors. And now she finally decided to talk the truth that she forged the result. And guess what? It's not Jam that did the investigation. No. It was the Anna Brastel government, Charles Soludo, that did the investigation himself. He set up a committee to do the investigation because they always even believe that the girl actually scored uh, score that scores, she said. They thought the glitch was from Jam. But no, the girl, the girl was the one that forged it. The girl went to a Saba cafe to forge the result. Why? Why? To forge the result. Why? Why you go forge the result? Why? Why? Almost caused Straba war. People were blasting each other because of her ego. But see her now. So we do not know if she's going to lose the, the scholarship, three million dollar scholarship. In fact, Dan Rega said, Bitcoin Lord, Bitcoin Chief, should make sure he offer the real jams top scorer a hundred percent scholarship to study in the UK, Canada, or the United States of America. But that's not all. Inoso Moto should also award three million to Miss Ume and other Nigerians who promise pledge needs to do the same. Then he also says, since Ms. Soma has agreed that she manipulated that jam result, hope Bitcoin chief and other Nigerians who wanted to prove their, rich, uh, their richness online will now sponsor the recognized jam top scorer Umi. People will bring up agendas, but also but she's also from Anabra, so there's no excuse. Well, there's a real girl that's her name is Umi. She was the top jam scorer. Not this Miss Summer who forged her result. So the innocent Moto show withdraw the three million naira scholarship to uh, Miss Summer and gave it to this girl Umi. Thank God she's from Anabra State. And the uh, Bitcoin chief who said scholarship to UK, USA, and uh, Canada. She withdraw it from Miss Summer and gave it to this girl. Abi? Yes, it's only right. If you refuse to do it for this girl that actually scored the highest score, then a God will punish you with that. Well, now, all those talk like, oh, it's my money, it's my money. I can do whatever I want with my money. Now, now they talk about the entire side. Now, your money, now your money, your money I can do it. If I want to give scholarship, I want to give scholarship. Now, now they talk about the entire side. I Meanwhile, well, check out the uh, Kanayo Kanayo. His son is relocating to the United States of America. He posted a video and he was praying for his son. God will keep you and you shall not be uh, brought into the house with anything body. You should be a blessing. It's not easy. It's not easy for your son to go to a, to USA. It's not easy. Oh. Can I just say America? will be proud of you. Your achievement will cause America to celebrate you. You will imbibe the good 
of the land and hate the good therefore you will continue to be he he well see let's be honest eh? the prayer your father and brother will pray for you eh, is more than any prayer in this life the prayer the, your mother and your father will pray for you is more than what your pastor is rewarding than what your pastor will pray for you just know it and know i just have peace i saw this video of apostle Suleiman concerning the popular video of you are a bad boy i don't know if you guys have heard that uh, uh, sound that audio on tiktok before you are a bad boy when i saw the video and this is the first time i am actually watching this video so we're gonna watch it together and i have something really to say about it fine sir how are you how are you sir. Huh? fine sir how are you i'm getting fine sir how are you i'm fine sir You are a bad boy. 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 You are a very bad boy. God is going to. Do you want Jesus to, to receive you? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Madam, sorry. Sorry what I'm saying. You are a bad boy. You went to a herbalist. Sir? You went to a herbalist? Yes, sir. I'm lying? No. Eh? No, sir. You want to make money? You're a bad boy. Madam, this boy would have used you to make money. Is You are ready for me to pray for you now. I saw you picking paper on the streets. But now, if you are ready... I'll pray with you. Eh? Pray for him, sir. What is the bread? Where's the bread? I threw it away. Bread? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. If you have eaten that bread, you would have been dead. He brought it to the house. Bread? Yes, and he told me that I cannot eat this bread. I asked him to go and throw the bread. I pray with him. Oh. Wait. It's not his eyes, oh. It's not his clear eyes. It's his friends. He went that, there with that, his friends. That's what he told me. Plenty eh? of them. Plenty of them. Yes. He has a girlfriend. Yes. When he couldn't succeed with you, he went to that one looking for her panties. Who is shouting there? You know him? So, Baba, this is Baba. This is your family. Bring one person. But you know, because he loved the family, he didn't bring. He didn't bring. The name you mentioned is your friend's name. Can you hear me? Well, I still have another one to play for you guys. How did you get to? So when I was in local jazz, so I worked with one man selling phone. So people that meet there, they are doing Yahoo of it. Yahoo. Yes. So they not tell me that I should come and join them like that. So me to an buy iPhone iPhone. So you want money, quick money? Yes. So they not say that. They not say that I should go and Lord should, have mercy on I us. Give them my number. Not give them my number. They not forward the man number for me on WhatsApp. And I talk to the man on WhatsApp. The man asked that if I want to do soap, that I have to pay 21,000. 21,000 yes. naira soap? Yes. Me and my friend, I contribute the money and do the soap. Since when I bought the soap, one week to that, the soap work. Eh? Isamo Keri Sokoria Mila Kento. So... <laughs> So, so the soap, the soap work. The soap work. work. The initial time. So just, what, what the soap happened? just work for one week. One it week. worked for one week. Yes. <laughs> so as the soap work for one week, after that one week, I I broke. I sell my phone. Everything that I have, I just sell it. So since that time, and I noticed that, like I know how to read. 
very well before since that time even though his mental capacity has declined yes yeah, so because of so sometimes if i want to maybe if i'm if i'm writing if i want to write i s e sometimes i used to forget i was i would not sing i s so so okay you know what uh you know uh, confession eh? confession the way i understand confession is between yourself and god and if you hurt someone and you know that person is within you huh? i don't know yet so if it's good to meet that person and say oh i've hurt you please forgive me i know that's why god also preach forgiveness as well god also encourage people to forgive because people might come to you to ask for for, for your forgiveness confession publicly i don't understand it but i don't know how the first video from apostle Suleiman. i don't know how the mother will start looking at her child i don't know how i don't know how his friends will start looking at him everybody around him will start looking at him i feel like they're doing that guy so much harm than trying to assist him and again we have seen ritualists who have killed people. They say they kill people. Yahweh Yahweh boy, they say they jump people. They have come to church to confess. Are they not supposed to be arrested? <laughs> Are they not supposed to face the wrath of the law? So, it seems like if you buy anybody now, you knock anybody by, you confess. Just come confess for church and you repent. That means the law. Nobody can uh, carry out uh, any judgment on you. You, you can just go scot free because you have confessed. Ah. Have you seen uh, American people confessing before? A white person, don't you reason it? White person are Nigerians, they confess. Af Africa, now they confess. And they will just go scot free after they don't ruin people's life. Why? America, if America confess a key person, don't you think they'll go arrest and ask how you kill? Yes. Don't you reason that now? But for Nigeria church, Africa church, somebody can keep a person, come all online and confess and just go scot free. <laughs> Make me understand it, guys. Make me understand it. And again, uh, this uh, cook at home, not cook at home, sex at home, you know, the Guinness World Record, the Cameroon woman want to set a record 200 hours continuous sex on television 200 hours continuous to the knack 200 hours continuously without stop ah i'm is never this never tear this ridiculous idea when the girl i don't know when 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 she got to start to open and no go hot ah how many of the girls will go up to one hour? The punani you no know, go cash fire. <laughs> ah, you no know, go swell up. Okay, let me stop with those kind of talk. Have a wonderful day, guys. Stay blessed and peace. Bye.